Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also, I have a Patreon if you like to support the channel and support me as a creator. You can go to the link below and you can actually pay a dollar, two dollars, ten dollars. Is up to you. Anything helps. Today we're actually looking at another video from um, Zayna and Jason May called TikTok. And you guessed it, it's basically, it's like an advertisement for TikTok. But um, this is my first reaction to it. I haven't heard the whole song. And uh, I'm excited because this is actually a, a, a promotional video, sponsored video, video by a company called Shuffle. So big thanks to them. And uh, there's a link in the description to their website as well. So we're gonna go ahead and listen and watch this video. I heard it's really good, obviously. Um, and we're just gonna take a look at it. Honest, unbiased reaction. Let's go. Cast and crew, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Okay. So it's Fresh Prince inspired. Got it. So we're just gonna start off hot, aren't we? Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you here. If you guys don't know who the people in this video are currently, uh, these are TikTok stars. So there's a website called TikTok, for those of you who don't know. And this website, you can make little funny videos and things like that. And so within that website, these are basically superstars of the website who've gotten super popular and, and stuff. So that's essentially what the video is about. And they kind of got set around, uh, looks like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, 90s theme. It's actually pretty interesting. Okay, not bad. Alright, so I'm gonna stop it there. I, I think this song would be really great, like, if they did, like, a boom bap more than, like, a uh, conventional modernized hip hop. So boom bap, if you don't know, is like 90s hip hop style, uh, like that kind of thing. And I think if they did it like that, this actually, the whole aesthetic would have actually worked a little bit better. I don't mind the contemporary hip hop beat. However, I think that if they did boom bap, this would have took it to another level. But everything sounds good so far. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, so he's actually really good. Jason, I mean, he can spit pretty hard. I like, I like it. And then, of course, she sings. She got the whole Fresh Prince outfit. It's really great that these kids got an opportunity to be on this shoot. I think it's pretty dope. Oh, basketball scene. Love it. So, so real quick, this is actually really good. I like the way they did the entire shoot with just showing the Will Smith scenes, getting her dressed up in it. I do like the aesthetic. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and I, I see how they're trying to connect the song, the words TikTok and all the stars and everything. We're going to kind of assess at the end whether or not it all works together. But so far, so good. Got the spray paint scene and everything. They're just going through the whole thing. Okay, back to the chorus. Yeah, they really set they really set up this entire thing. The aesthetic is beautiful on this entire shoot. I'm such a production buff. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Okay, so that's that's basically the entire video. So the whole video basically is about two minutes and forty-seven seconds long. 
I like it. So a couple things. I, I really like the song. I think once again, the production was great. Aesthetic was fantastic. I mean, you guys saw it. You know, everyone loves Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Everybody loves the 90s and you know, all that. I think it all worked really well. Couple things. I think number one, like I said, if they would have did a boom bap style beat instead of the contemporary hip hop beat within the music video, I think it would have taken this to a whole other level. I think it would have been really interesting to kind of hear him work off of that uh, 90s hip hop beat while in the 90s aesthetic. I think it all would have worked together very well. Um, I do enjoy the TikTok stars being involved. I think that's probably the first video, uh, music video shoot they've ever been involved with professionally, which is fun for them. However, I think the biggest issue I'm having is that I'm not quite sure who all of them even are. I, I am not super into uh, the TikTok universe. In fact, I will go as far to say I'm completely uneducated when it comes to TikTok stars. So I... I think at the end right here, and I'm, I'm kind of looking at it now, at the end of the music video, they do go throughout the, the end showing you who's who, their names and their at signs and stuff. So it, once again, I don't know who these TikTok stars are. I think what they should have did was put their real names, like their actual first and last given birth names, and then put their at sign. Um, and their at sign should have been associated with whatever website, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Nitpick. Also, um, I'm a production buff. I mean, I'm going to Georgia State University for film and media, so I can tell you this. I was watching the music video, and one thing I don't like, and this is just a nitpick again, is when um, Jason was rapping, and you can actually see how the camera gets in the way of the light. So I'm actually going to show you what that looks like right now. So while he's rapping, the camera gets in the way of the light like this, and now you can see the shadow of the camera while he's and I, it's just it bugs me that's all it is it just bugs me um camera angles are super important and i think that that helps on connecting with the artist during a music video um to, so about the music once again i thought it was good she sang very well i like the aesthetic now question biggest question does TikTok the song work with all the stars and does it work with the aesthetic of the 90s and 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 uh fresh prince of bel-air and all of that I would say it definitely almost did. I think, I liked it a lot. Once again, the song was great and everything. But to work with that aesthetic is hard. 90s, 90s backdrop is difficult to work with. I think it was fun. If they would have put this entire song in a completely different backdrop, I think it would have worked. But because they put it in a 90s Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air backdrop, it almost seemed to clash. But once again, none of that really matters. If you were to turn this song on in your car, and you didn't see the music video, then I think you would like the song a lot. But of course, Walking to Song Theory, this is where we analyze and overanalyze every single thing we watch and listen to. So you get what you get, you know what I'm saying? Uh, once again, special thanks to Shuffle, um, giving me the opportunity um, to, to do this. And, and they um, contacted me and were like, hey, listen, we want you to kind of react to this. And they're not the first company, they're not the first people to contact me. Um, and it's really fun to do stuff like that to help out and to and to react to stuff honestly and unbiased. I don't care who you are. I'm going to tell you what it is, okay? And I did enjoy it. However, like I said, with the 90s backdrop, the, the whole Fresh Prince of Bel-Air thing, if they would have separated that, I think it would have worked out. Overall, I would have gave it probably like a 90, um, you know, but it, it was pretty good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I enjoy, I love making these videos. Thank you guys so much. You give me life. You give me hope. You give me everything um on this on this channel and platform thank you so much once again subscribe and you can support me on patreon there's a link below if you enjoy this content you want me to see you want me to make more of it you can help me out thanks guys i love you guys hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow god bless i'll see you all later